Hey, Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. I got my friend JP here from FN, and I've been wanting to do this video with this guy for quite a while now, FNC. He's gonna take us through the early versus the later production one. JP, take it away. Thank you, Larry. Uh, in 1975, Herstal decided to design and build an FN carbine in 5.56. In 1977, the first production was delivered to NATO for technical testing. The following year, they delivered more weapons to NATO for troop testing. Then in 1980, the first contract with Indonesia, Belgium Armed Forces, and as well as uh, the Swedish Armed Forces. From this model, which is the early version of, a, of an FNC, to the latest MK2, there are some notable differences. First of all, they've eliminated the grooving for the bipod. They have changed the screw gas control into the gas block into the barrel itself. They've also replaced the rivets for the heat shield on the handguard to screws. Then moving towards the receiver of the gun, they have improved the charging handle and beefed up the, the extractor, changed the main table angle to the chamber, polished the feed ramp. They've also changed the cocking channel cover from metal to polymer. Also, a notable change is from the trigger guard from one version to the next. They've also moved the rear sight to the back to provide more rigidity to the gun, as well as uh, allowing you to activate the magazine release button when you fold the stock, which a feature that was not available on the original FNC. These are the notable changes from the early version to the latest FNC, and this version is a fully automatic FN carbine in 556 by 45 NATO. Is this gun still being made in Belgium? No. Or no. We have abandoned the production as soon as we started uh, production on the scars. Now, I, myself, and I know many others, were in the same boat. When we saw the first pictures of the SCAR prototypes, we automatically assumed that it was basically a, an FNC that had been given a facelift. But of course, that's not the case. Correct. The major changes, obviously, from the SCAR, everybody knows it, to a monolithic rail. The only feature that was pretty much kept as is is the lower receiver, except for the L shape of the FNC. Good deal. Now, a couple questions here. Weight, is weight basically the same between the early versus the late model? Pretty much. Uh, however, they had uh, three different versions. They had a standard with a fixed stock, and they had two pairs, one long barrel, one short barrel. What's the cyclic rate of fire on full water? Now, we know this is a semi, but what's it? On it's full? 500 to 650. Okay, from, my, from my, what I remember shooting these, they're pretty controllable and fully automatic. Absolutely, they are tuned with that screw gas control inside the barrel. What's the total number of these that were made by FN? Do you know? production quantity? All I can say is that we imported roughly 1,300 of the FNC to the U.S. And it takes M16 mags. Absolutely. Right, and this is the steel early one. FNC mags 30 rounds. Right, good deal. And did they ever do them in one and seven twist or were they at one and 12 only? One and seven. Good deal. Oh, wow. One and seven only. Good deal. Fixing to light it up. JP, thanks a million. Thank you, Larry. This My is pleasure. a rare bird here in the U.S. Full auto one from the factory. Enjoy. Vickers Tactical coming your way.